multiplication and division of polynomials method of detached coefficients Six x cubed minus eleven x squared minus seven x plus fifteen. This times x square plus two x minus seven. Okay. <coughs> Uh, let's use detached coefficients method. We write only we write only the coefficients without writing x. Let's do it. Okay, the second polynomial, I only write 1, 2, and a minus 7. Let us multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 11. 1 times negative 7. 1 times plus 15. Okay. Two times six two times negative eleven two times negative seven two times fifteen. Seven times six this times that this times that and this times that. Okay, we have multiplied everything, and then we add <clears throat> this plus that is plus one, add everything. Here, yeah. 
and a hair. And a hair. So we used the method of detached coefficients. So our final result contains only the coefficients. So the final step is to add x to this line. This is x to the power 0, this is x to the power 1, and power 2, power 3, power 4, power 5. So let's add x. Now, this is our final answer. So it's uh, x, x squared, x cubed, x to the power 4, x to the power 5. Uh, I do not need to write 1x to the power 4, so I, I just erase a 1. This is my final answer. Next example is to do the division. We can use the same method of detached coefficients. We have one polynomial divided by another polynomial. Let's use the same method, detached coefficients. We write only the coefficients without writing x. Oops, 4, 3, 2, I am missing the x term. The 0 represents I have no x term. Okay. Now we do it. What times 5 gives you 20? 4.
2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is negative 12. We subtract. This is 0. Subtract. 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 All right. What times 5 gives you negative 15? It's negative 3, right? Now we subtract, this subtracts out, this subtract, move this down, What, what times 5 gives you 25? It's negative 5, right? Subtract, subtract, okay, so that finishes the division. Now, like what we did for the last example, the multiplication, now we need to add x to our result, because our result contains only the coefficients. This is 0x, this is one, x to the power 1, and this, and this is x squared, this is x, this has no x. This has no x, this is x. So our result is, the quotient is 4x squared minus 3x minus 5, and the remainder is 1x plus 1. I don't need to write the 1, so I can erase the 1. The remainder is just x plus 1. This completes today's video, multiplication of polynomials and division of polynomials using the method of detached coefficients. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. We will do the next video uh, soon.